There are only a few ways to truly experience the Japanese culture during a trip to Japan. Without a doubt, a homestay with Fukiko is one of the best opportunities. Her vibrant personality and enthusiasm for life make conversation around the table memorable. In this video, we will try to show you how your stay at Fukiko's house could be. Welcome to my house! Konnichiwa! Please come in! Arigato! Okay, would you please take your shoes off here? Oh, sure. Because in sure. Japan, uh, this is outside, mm -hmm. this is inside. Mm -hmm. It's a very clear line. Mm -hmm. But uh, you know, without explaining, the people often make mistake and mm -hmm. they try to walk in here. So please take off your shoes, okay? And in Japan, you know, when people, guests come, we don't welcome standing like this because the our eye lines go higher than the guests. It's not good. So already we sit here and then we will come here like this. Yeah? Okay. Hey, please come in. Hi. So this is my house. Mm. Wow. It's a traditional house. And uh, actually, these two are main rooms, but this is this is called the, the uh, shimo dashiki. Dashiki means uh, you know the main room. Shimo dashiki, and this is the kami dashiki. This is the most important room, and usually we uh, invite guests here. And uh, the important guests sit here. This is the important guests. And then next person here, and this other. But that's this is the main person. And this is my ancestors. Uh, and uh, every morning I put tea and uh, tea and the water and the rice. Sometimes when I cook, I put the rice with offer and the flowers. And these are each one had the names of the person who died, passed away. And uh, this is, for example, this is my mother and the father. And uh, my father died before my mother. So the uh, father had this kind of single tablet. I don't know how to go. And then uh, when my mother died, they put it together. And this is not, you know, okay, we go to the store and buy this. It's not. The, there are many rituals. First, one has to, the spirit has to be out, and the new one has to get, take in, and that all the, the priest does. My uh, family is a Zen line, Zen Buddhist. And uh, every morning I sit like this and chant. I like it very much. You know, I feel closer to them when I chant every day. And uh, But you know, this house, although the house itself is not so old, uh, 56 years old, but the generation after generation has been here. So that although they, they are not here, but the, I feel some spiritual feelings here in this house. That's why I can live alone now. You know, Japanese room is uh, built a very convenient way. This is a one room, but could be the guest room, could be the, you know, the dining room, living room. We use for the multiple purpose. That's how the Japanese house is built. And also you can see this is the sliding door. This is called Fusuma, but we never stand like this. We, we open, we open, you know, we close like this and open like this. This is completely uh, Japanese rice paper. So the, we are not allowed to touch this area because this is a very expensive <laughs> handmade paper. So that's why here, always 
touch it. This is a lacquer, so it's okay. You can clean it easily. You see? Then I wax, not wax it. I use, you know, the candle. When it finish the end, I use, I collect. Okay. I collect like this. I make this kind like this, and then I do like this. Never use the water. So now this is my kitchen. Well, sometimes I uh, cook with my guests together. And look, this is this morning's harvested organic tomatoes, zucchinis, cucumbers, pumpkins, a lot of things. Yeah, and now, you know, I want to show the very simple but very healthy food. It's very simple to make. Okay. First, uh, uh, Japanese pickles, and uh, I don't know if you know this, uh, this is rice bran, can you see? It, you know, when you uh, bo polish from the brown rice to the white rice, this is the one we get. And uh, we, first, we roast or fry, no, no fly. It's a roast, roast. Then uh, add the water and red pepper. This is a very, very hot, like a jalapeno. Very, very hot. This is to protect the, from the worms or bad bacteria. So it's a very simple. Uh, add water, water, uh, but Water like uh, when you make uh, bread, it, that's the amount, you know, like need, when we knead the bread, that's the amount we use. And this one just uh, uh, cut into small pieces, just add. Then, then after that, you put into this kind of container. Uh, you, you can actually use a plastic one too. Anything is okay. Just container, you put this one. Then first, uh, the edge of vegetables which you don't use, like a carrot edge, the one you throw away, you put carrot, uh, radish, anything, any vegetable. You add and mix it. Then, mm, it depends on the temperature, but uh, one week or so, you keep it. But every day you mix it because oxygen is very important. And uh, you mix it one week, then in one week it becomes like this. Then it's ready to make pickles. But, like, uh, oh, I didn't have aubergine. Uh, okay, uh, this is cucumbers. But cucumbers, aubergine. Aubergines, particularly important aubergine to uh, not the spring crude, more the lot of the uh, salt surface and the uh, knit with hand like this so that the color stays when it's finished because the color is very important. It's very good for our eyes and it's very important to keep and it looks nicer and the uh, then I'll show you the actual one. You see, it's ready. It's ready, but you can see that this deep purple color still because it, I put the salt surface on the surface. It's, smells good, no? It's a very, <laughs> it has a very yeah, strong, strong smell. It's uh, like, uh, yeah, like cheese for Japanese, like cheese. Very healthy food. Please try it. This uh, product is made specially for the kimono. And when we open like this, that's how we keep our my kimono. You see? And uh, this is a paulonia, the wood. Because it's, uh, you know, in the wet, wet, wet season, 
soaks the um, wetness so that inside is dry and then summer it's too dry then the, that wetness comes into so the silk is very important to have the okay so obi where's obi i have to find obi ah, okay this is obi i cannot open all but the also important this is kimono okay obi this is obi the old silk and the gold this is also obi or a silk and gold so the obi will be the belt that belt, we put around the kimono. kimono and so for the yukata it was uh, very thin yeah and for the kimono is for summer and uh, it's very difficult to to draw uh, clean to clean mm. so usually we don't put on this is for the spring winter autumn not summer summer is this is for summer you can see the material is different for, uh, flax and silk uh, see beautiful Yes, but this is for the former uh, kimono when I go to the uh, wedding or ceremony but this one I got too old this is I cannot put on this anymore but this one I still I can use it this is your garden yes this is one of my garden we have to go to another garden you see the, these are, these are the tomatoes. It's big, no? Very big. <laughs> it grows so fast. Mm. I have only three plants, but in a day, 20 or more cucumbers. And the aubergines, also I have only two plants of aubergines, but you can see also many every day so I have to deliver to my friends and so Fukuiko here everything is organic right yes completely you can see how I make the organic soil you see these are the patches and then when it finished the between the patches I put all leaves and branches of the trees and the raw garbage and the Japan is a very good place because it's so wet moisture. Yes, it's a natural. In so I cover this with the black hoil. Then uh, wait uh, three, four months. I don't use this one. And wait until then the worms, beautiful worms, many worms. The day work for me. But summer. Whoa, beautiful! <laughs> this is pumpkin. It's an interesting pumpkin called the butter pumpkin. It's. A, I got some for you. Yes, this is. Yes, this is sweet potatoes. When do you harvest the sweet potatoes? Uh, October usually. Deep green oh, beans no. are very cute. Cute ones. Traditional sweet maker today is closed, unfortunately. This one is mine. Whoa. You see? Like this. You see? But. You see? Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm.
During your stay with Fukiko, you can do so many things, like visit a Japanese wallsmith, practice calligraphy, go to a second-hand kimono shop, or Japanese antique shop perfect for souvenirs. Kiko can also explain to you how to wear a kimono or yukata. To put on the kimono in a beautiful way, this line is very very important. So the line should go see, all here. No line here. Straight. Huh? Then here. If it's too much pull, then looks like a professional lady. But if it's too little, then this part is the most beautiful part. So the the, the and it has to be this one has to, the center has to be the same. Side side. Yeah, probably. So it's slightly different. Adults is more like this, and the little girls more comes. Neck. Okay, then continue the Then also the kimono. This line is very very important. So, excuse me. So the better, the more the better. That's and again this if it's too much open, not good. Has to be. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Good. Yeah, it's perfect. When I do it alone, it's much easier because I'm so used to doing it by myself. Then when I try to put to other people, it's difficult. ま、<笑> There are many ways of doing it. This is a simplest one.
and also this is for more girls. So <laughs> this is this is not the, for the adult actually. But not so pretty way, I guess, but okay, not so pretty, but uh, something like this, mm -hmm. <laughs> something like this. This is a simple one. Thank you for watching, we really hope you can stay at Fukiko's house and have a fantastic day like we did. For more videos about Japan, please like and subscribe. When you are ready to organize your trip to Japan, please contact us at rediscovertours.com.